In Telephone Network, things may go wrong on different levels, from servers running out of disk space to fraud attacks. To keep your telephone network running consistently, you need a monitoring and alerting solution which tracks metrics so that you can take action before things go wrong. Prometheus is a simple, powerful metric toolkit that can be used to get information on what your telephony apps are doing and how healthy they are. Prometheus uses a pool model, so you need to expose metrics from your system and then Prometheus will go and fetch them every minute or every 30 seconds or whatever you configure. Those systems to monitor could be Linux or Windows servers providing metrics on CPU, memory, or disk use, or they could be applications such as Asterisk or FreeSwitch providing metrics such as uptime, number of calls, or number of online SIP endpoints. Prometheus stores metrics in time series database, so all the metrics are recorded with a timestamp. Saving metrics in time series is all taken care of in Prometheus server, so the systems you are monitoring just explore the current set of metrics. Prometheus adds the timestamp when it fetches the data and stores it. Prometheus has its own query language, and there is an HTTP API running on the Prometheus server which lets you run those queries. There is also a simple web UI running on the server which is for basic administrative tasks. You can use it to view the server configuration and check that Prometheus can reach the servers that it's configured to monitor. You can also run queries with the UI and see the current value of the metric or have them in the graph. But Prometheus UI isn't a fully featured dashboard. For dashboard, we usually use a separate software which connects to the Prometheus API to get the data to visualize. Yes, I'm referring to Grafana and we will talk about it later in this channel. Prometheus has a really advanced alerting system as well. We can register alerts in Prometheus server using rules. And when the rules trigger, Prometheus takes action on alerts, sends SMS or email, create tickets, or even uh, can make a call and play the error message using text-to-speech. So now that you are more familiar with this tool, let's start by installing the Prometheus on Debian 11. I have provided all the installation steps in my GitHub account VoIP monitoring repo. Uh, select the Prometheus installation on Debian 11, and you will find all the steps that you need for installing uh, Prometheus. There is a link to the source of this article, but I had some changes here because the version of Prometheus is different and also it's more clean here. So uh, I put the steps here so that it will be easier for you to uh, follow the installation steps. Prometheus installation is very straightforward. Let's go through the steps once together. The first step is to add necessary user and group to our Debian, create necessary folders, in etc and varlib, varlib for the Prometheus. Download the Prometheus from the website or using this command. Check the version. This is 237.1 when I'm recording this video uh, because we need this version for extracting and also moving. So I extract the folder and I will move it to etc Prometheus. Let's check if we have in the etc Prometheus. Uh, it seems there is a mistake here. Let me just remove it. etc Prometheus extracted again. Prometheus. And let's move Prometheus to etc Prometheus. and check etc Prometheus. Yeah, that's correct. So we have the necessary folders and directories in etc Prometheus. Next one is to uh, give necessary permissions to our etc Prometheus. And to the libraries, let's just copy paste and give permission to them. And we need to uh, configure the Prometheus files and scripts. We just need to copy the Prometheus to the USR local bin. 
and also prompt tool. Prompt tool is a tool that you can use it to check if your configuration uh, are correct or not. And then we need to uh, install Prometheus systemd. We can use nano or Vime or any other editor based on your preference. Let's just use nano, save it. And now we should be able to enable the service, of course, after reloading. Let's just enable the Prometheus right now. OK, it says it's enabled. And we can check the status. And it is running. That's great. In order to access that, by default, it's running on port 1990. So netstat-na. GREP9090 and you can see it's listening on the 9090 and in all uh, listening on all interfaces. So in order to uh, see the parameters we can uh, just go to the uh, IP address port 1990 and you will see the Prometheus panel uh, will load and the, this is the panel that you can see the a status of the monitor task, the configuration of the Prometheus, the graphs, you can run the queries, etc. Of course, we don't have any host to be monitored right now, so there is no information here. But in the next video, we will learn how to monitor an asterisk uh, system using the uh, Prometheus libraries in the Prometheus. Thank you for watching, and if you have any questions, please put in the comments.